the government just focus in driving the narrative and bringing our collective energies together is to ensure that we are aligning with the Sustainable Development Goal 2, which clearly goes to focus on zero hunger, or which aims at a world which will have zero hunger. And so this year, the focus is bringing resources together to ensure that projects that are being pursued by the government chair and his foundation and his office will go towards um, you know, addressing some of these issues, ensuring that we're taking our children off the streets into our schools and ensuring that we're giving them uh, a good future through education and also ensuring that um, a lot of the incidents of, of, of poverty which is not helping some of our mothers and our fathers who are into entrepreneurship will all be a thing of the past. That is what makes this a unique celebration and the Gaman Che is asking us to extend his invitation to all of our friends who are in different parts of the world, um, most of them in terms of proximity coming from different parts of the UK, Ireland, uh, Scotland and Wales, and all those within the heart of London to come and join so that we celebrate this together and have that focus, join in seeing that vision that he is seeing for the Gadangli people. Also, um, it has been outlined that we are going to share the elaborate program with you. Uh, the government chair will be engaged in different interactions aside the celebration proper, which is on the 26th of October. He will be hosted by uh, House of Lords, he will be hosted by the House of Commons, and also the Ahmadiyya Muslim Mission, which has its headquarters in Mali. There will also be a Thanksgiving service which will be done, and then after that, some time will be given for the team which is traveling from here to uh, have uh, tourism experiences, after which everything will be brought to an end. And so we're glad and grateful that all of you made it this afternoon. Uh, thank you all very much for the support. At this time, I would also like to say a very big thank you to some key supporters and sponsors with whose um, efforts we are hopefully going to realize a very, very successful uh, celebration of the Homo Festival. Uh, you do realize that uh, projects such as these require a lot of resources, uh, from logistics through to liquid resources and human resource as well. And so uh, the government's office and uh, the leadership are also very much aware of that and are grateful to everyone for ensuring that we're all doing this together. At the end of the day, it's the common purpose and the common goal that we all want to achieve. So we're grateful to every sponsor, especially uh, the Magdan group, uh, Dr. Daniel McCauley and his Magdan group, who are a major supporter for this. We're also grateful to the office of the um, UK High Commission in Accra, um, the, the British High Commissioner to Ghana, her Excellency uh, Harriet Thompson and her team for collaborating with uh, the government's team in achieving uh, a few other things, uh, doing a lot in terms of collaboration and looking forward to uh, bigger collaborations in the future in terms of marrying our respective goals and the respective visions so that we can make impact on the people uh, in uh, the, the Gadangli uh, traditional areas. So once again, we're grateful to all of these partners and to you, our friends from the media, every single uh, media outfit here, uh, we're very grateful to all of you. Uh, sending these messages to the relevant places around the world is very crucial, and we do appreciate the valuable airtime that you're giving uh, to this. <laughs> Uh, you care who were your Bermingi president, Keha, National Congress of Ghana Unions, Niji, Ghana Union, Kai Ghana Union, Yo, UK, Kuba, uh, Umbrella Body of Niji, and the president. I've been in Hong Kong, UK, and Ireland, Gadang with Queen, Yo, UK, and the Umbrella Body of Niji, and the president. It will be more Nichi Moka, Gadang with UK and Ireland, is sure. Nichimon, what you think? 
sustainable development goal two. Make sure he says everything, leave nothing to be said. But what I'm going to say is, I want to acknowledge once again the initiator of this program, Soyo. She has done a yeoman's job. Even the conceptualizing the project, it's a lot. And I want us to give her an expanding ovation. Yes. Expanding ovation. So you. So you is the one I know. Because this is not an easy project. And what we are hearing today is a long time to come up today. So to you, thank you very much. And you have heard from that that this is not just an ordinary homo. It's a homo to end hunger in, the, in line with the SDGs to the UN. And also the the, the AU 2063 agenda of socio-economic inclusive to end uh, hunger for development. So everything is put together. In fact, we thank His Royal Majesty Kintaki Tekuchu for holding this up and agreeing to work with it because this is a man with a vision. And you heard about his um, foundation. And if you know about the foundation, part of the foundation is really to make sure that the Gadangui people will end hunger and we develop and we also move along with the sustainable development goals. So, so we thank you very much. And we are all looking forward for a successful program. And it is not going to be easy, but with our support and our prayers, we are going to make it. And on the 12th of November, His Royal Majesty will return with a lot of bags and with good news. So thank you very much, Thank you very much. Uh, yes, and now the, um, the so you is going to acknowledge some of our sponsors. After that, we will go hands and formally launch the Grand Common World UK 2024. So we um, we have contacted uh, a team of people who will form part of the business team that goes with His Majesty. And I would like to acknowledge um, Exit Bank, Absa Ghana, CBG Bank, 
there with me. I have a, a very active uh, phone. And SNIT, GRE, ADB Bank, Graphic Corporation, Core Construction, and Oswald Investment, also SIC Life, Engineers and Planners, Springfield Energy, and some uh, journal capital. Once again, and, and Madame Group. Madame Group have been incredibly supportive, so I want to give a special mention to them. Once again, to thank the UNESCO team, um, our media partners, Royal TV, and all of you that are here, Bono, Profi TV, etc. We thank you so much. Um, I would also like to thank, in terms of support, Trailbridge Foundation again, who are working with us. And once again, my team, thank you so much. I'm incredibly proud of your achievements so far. And so now, on behalf of His Royal Majesty King Takitekutu and all the partners, we hold hands together and we formally launch the Grand UK Homo War 2024. It is hereby launched. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 